Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Marvel Spider-Man with Dude Long Couch. We are jumping right back in where we left off. And I gotta tell you guys, I just ate so much pizza, it's not even funny. I think I might actually die. But first, I'm gonna play, like, four hours of this game. <laughs> That's cool how the music kicks right in as soon as we just take off. I actually quite like that. So... Still trying to get used to the, uh, to like all the controls and the web slinging mechanics and all that. Can do a super jump when we land, but that was not a good spot to try it, so. I guess we should head for the next story mission. I'd like to do like a lot of side stuff as it comes up. Also, it seems that there's really no fall damage in this game. I'm in the street. Can we not discuss my personal business? Okay, okay, fine. The doctor said it's hemorrhoids. Oh, know. check this out. Traffic near your vehicle hemorrhoids. is following a severe accident. Incident is ongoing near Union Square. Please copy. Something? So I'm trying to punch this guy, That's and instead right, I'm dude. like... I'm like waving to him. That's cool. That didn't happen before. I wonder if there was like an update for that. Anyway, there's some kind of crime in progress going on. How do I track that? I wonder. I tried R3, I'm trying to scan right now. It's really not popping up. Who are you? Explosion handshake! Keep up the good work, man. That's awesome! That's really cool. And I got some XP for that too. How do I find these crimes in progress, guys? That part of this game is confusing me a little bit so far. I gotta say. Okay, so by habit, I'm trying to like hold the jump button, but that doesn't work. I need to just tap it. Speed Freak. I'm not sure why that popped up there, but okay. I hope I'm not like missing out on things by not going for these crimes in progress. Like I'm trying to, but it's just not working out. I doubt it's the kind of thing where you could actually like miss out on something though. At least I'd like to think that. Anyways, let's pop in here. And we're already back to being Peter Parker. You know, I guess I'm not surprised that they had to include Peter Parker stuff in this game, but I am surprised that there is this amount of it already. Octavius Industries. Right, we came here to get stuff to repair our suits. Looks like Doc's gone for the night. Time to sneak in some spider work. Time to rob this motherfucker blind, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. Sure, good idea. Let's do that. Octavius Industries. So, actuator precision is available. Got a couple different things available. This station allows you to work on circuit projects. Earn XP and other rewards for completing projects. More circuit projects will unlock as you progress through the game. Bonus for full completion is... Two... Well, no, four microscope tokens, I guess? I don't know what those are. <laughs> and some XP. Well, let's just start at the top here. Doc was trying to improve the actuator's granularity. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're back to these kinds of puzzles. Um, these seem pretty simple, at least this one, because there's really only one part that works for all these. So I guess these are worth doing, if only just to get a whole bunch of XP, right? Nice. Super smooth response. Minimal grip force. I don't think this is actually the prosthetics grip force. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is actually doing anything for me, like Spider-Man, except for giving me XP. This isn't like related to what we're here for, I don't think. And honestly, you know, I, I, I'm kind of grateful that this isn't more difficult, because <laughs> it would probably be annoying. But also at the same time. This is, like, not challenging at all, because there's really only one way that this can go. 
So we're just going through the motions right now. That's better. Should avoid bone crushing. Interesting. Doc's hardwiring in a basic spatial mapping system. All right, so here we go. This is a little. This is a little more complicated. Okay, so basing it on the fact that I'm gonna have to get it over here, which means I have to cross over top here. I have to save my two straightaways for that, which means I can only use these to get up there. Which means I should actually do this correctly. So there you go, a little bit of spatial reasoning on this one. That makes it a little bit more difficult. That's the kind of thing I like. Very cool. Arms will have a sense of their surroundings now. I need to tune the arms gyro to auto orient. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping the gun on the dialogue because I want to get through these quickly. <laughs> Uh, let's see. From here, this one's slightly more complicated. We have to go through the negative pass, which means that we want to get it up to five actual voltage, which means we have to hit all of... Wait, how's that even going to work? We can only hit four on the grid. At least that's the way it looks right now. Isn't that right? Oh, they change when, we, when I go over... Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So it looks like I've got four and two, six. So I need to use all but one of the ones, I believe. That seems to check out. Okay. Yeah, this is ramping up just a wee bit here. Just a wee bit. So let's use... The two there, or no, the one there, and then the two here. However, that worked out. And then one of those. Oh, it's not going because, there we go. We have to orient these correctly. Got it. I don't know why, when it's just a straight pass through like that, why does it have to be oriented a certain way? Whatever. Uh, okay. For this one, let's do this and swing it that way. Straight through. And then we want to use that. Yeah. That's perfect. Swing that down. Swing that right there. Got it. Done. This will really help users maintain their equilibrium. Ducks trying to lower the overall power consumption of the prosthetic. Okay, they're ramping these up fairly quickly now. <laughs> Can we go negative in voltage? I guess we're going to have to. Right? Yeah. We have no choice. We can't use a positive on this part. So let's see. Our target is 8. To work with, we have shitload of negative and then one two four one two one five wow wow this gets real complicated real quick doesn't it okay that's fine but we need a positive eight so we need to use our big guns i guess although theoretically once we do this it'll be pretty simple to go back and swap these out as needed i think i don't think we have to reset the whole board to do that so I guess it's not really worth agonizing over, if I think of it like that. So wait, what do we want to do here? Do we want to go straight down? Can we make that happen? Hmm. Let's try it, I guess. See if we can make the math work out. Right now we're at negative two, so let's do a five... And a four. That brings us to seven. Why is this piece locked? Is it because the voltage isn't correct? So let's take out the negative two and throw in a negative one. Yeah, did it. Great. Way more efficient. And probably safer, too. 
my theory was correct about the way to approach those. And we've only got 10, but five of them are locked. So I guess that's all we can do for right now. But hey, I'll take the XP. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. The grant review was a debacle, yes, but it may also prove to be the inspiration I need. We can no longer simply meet the committee. Oh, it doesn't keep playing if I walk away. I don't like that. The grant review was a debacle, yes, but it may also prove to be the inspiration I need. We can no longer simply meet the committee's expectations. We must exceed them. Well, that was it anyway. <laughs> What else can we do in here, guys? So that's the lab stuff right there. We've gone through as much of that as we can already. There's little things scattered all around this lab. Oh, Jesus. This station allows you to work on spectrograph projects. Earn XP and other rewards. More spectrograph projects will unlock as you progress. So it's quite similar to the stuff we just found. Unknown hmm. substance found. Doc working on with this? Okay. These are barely even puzzles. How are they going to ramp up the difficulty on these? Like, a, a toddler could do this. Beautiful. Okay. Are these just meant to be like... Looks like another potential prosthetic contact material. Some unknown substances require multiple fragments to be stacked in a column. Okay. If two absorption lines overlap, they combine into a thicker absorption line. Here we go. So this makes a little bit more sense to me. Okay, so... For this first one, we need three on the left. And then one with... That matches that, but is missing the one in the middle. Or, oh no, it wouldn't want to match it. We would want just the one in the middle. Right, right. Which means... Uh, none of these match that, do they? This one's too far to the left. That won't work. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something here. We need one with just one line in the middle. Okay, we'll come back to that one, I guess. <laughs> this one here, we want that. And then this one. Right. And then for this... Okay, I'm missing some aspect of this puzzle now, because... None of these pieces work for that. That third one. What happens if I stick that there? What happens if I start mixing and matching these? Hmm. Okay. This doesn't make any sense. No sense that I can deduce. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I figured it out. Okay. Right. We have to be able to take away from one piece and add to another. Okay. So basically... Uh, okay. Okay, I think I got it. I was thinking about it a certain way, and it was not the right way to think about it. But now I've made sense out of it in my head. Got it. Oh, Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. Bet it'd be a great tissue interface. Sure. Hmm, what was Doc working on with this? Ooh, some fragments contain subtractive lines. When a subtractive line overlaps an absorption line, they cancel out. Now we're getting tricksy. Now we're getting real tricksy. So I see, like, for the first piece here, we could use that and then subtract it out with this. Yes, yes. I do enjoy this. This is, this is fun. This is good. 
Let's stick that, and then that. Nailed it. And then lastly... I think this will do the trick. Great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Yes, you always run that risk, for sure. I've had that problem countless times. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. All right, we've only got one negative subtractive line here. So, let's see here, guys. Da, 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 da. This one is going to be tricky. Okay, right off the bat, I see this. And this. That doesn't mean it's necessarily right, it just means it works for that, but we may have to take away from that for another solution. We can do that. And that for the middle piece. And then that leaves us with these. Will this work? Yeah, I think so. Nice! Not great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Well, that's your call, Peter. Okay, so we gotta go, we gotta get further in the story to unlock the rest of these. But again, free XP. I imagine there's gonna be one more of these around here. Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. That would be very efficient way to handle that. How would you get the specs for a 3D print of that, though? That's something you'd have to create yourself. And I can't imagine that's an easy process. Ooh, music? Nice. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Ugh, I can't even look at pizza right now. Get that away from me. It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. You know, I should probably start learning the weakness of this thing now, because I'm definitely going to have to fight it when Dr. Octavius becomes Dr. Octopus later in this game. But Peter doesn't know that yet, does he? He'll learn, guys. He'll learn. Listen to that. Alright. I guess we've hit just about everything. Did I look at this table right here? Not much going on there. What do we have here? Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged. Usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. I wonder how much history we have with Oscorp. That's the thing about this continuity, guys. They've taken some liberties with it. And I don't know where we stand with a lot of these characters. Graduation. It feels so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. Maybe. Probably a good thing you keep wearing the tights, though. Parker! Dr. Octavius! I, uh, uh... What you got there? Chinese. If I knew you'd be here, I would've... What are you working on? Oh, just a side project. Wow. <sighs> Of course. It's you. I, uh, I, I don't know what oh, you're- Oh, come on, Parker, it's obvious. L -l let me explain. I only wish you'd told me sooner. I wanted to, but I was afraid that if word got out, my family might be in danger. Huh. Yes. Uh, 
I guess if you design his equipment, you're bound to be a target too. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Don't worry. Your secret's safe. Well, I'll leave you to it. That's hilarious. <laughs> How does he not realize? He's like a genius. <laughs> okay. Check my email. Check your email. Hope this isn't how Doc fires me. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing he would do. But let's find out. Peter, the revelation of your second job as Spider-Man suit crafter. Is that the right term? <clears throat> is a reminder of the good man and partner you are. No matter how hard you work, you still find time to help others. I hope you don't mind, but I noticed the suit was a bit damaged, and I took the liberty of sketching up some of my own improvements. Attached are a few ideas I had on how you could enhance his suit and help protect Spider-Man, who does so much for this city. Looking forward to the incredible work that we are doing and changing the world together. Your partner and friend. Auto. Cool. What a nice guy. White spider, huh? Hmm. You can now use your tokens to create the advanced suit. Complete side missions and citywide activities to earn tokens. Hold X to craft the advanced suit. So this is the suit that was in like all the marketing for this game. It's kind of like their standard model. Oh, so this suit also unlocks battle focus. Hybrid biomembrane rapidly regenerates focus for a short time. Well, generates. New suit and suit power unlocked. Crafting a new suit auto equips the new suit power. Use the suit power menu to swap back to any previous suit powers you have unlocked. Suits can also be upgraded with suit mods. Unlock and equip suit mods here. Complete side missions and activities to unlock suits, suit powers, and suit mods. Use tokens to create suit mods. Wow, okay. Suit mods increase your utility and boost your offense and defense. You can equip three suit mods at a time to stack bonus effects. That should do it. This is more than I was expecting, but I guess I should have been expecting it because every game is an RPG these days, right? <laughs> it's cool though. I guess we get some leeway in kind of how we build our Spider-Man. I was kind of hoping I would get a web slinging upgrade for that too, but <laughs> let's not be greedy right off the bat, I suppose. Also, guys, how many traffic accidents do you think Spidey gets caused by just swinging through the street at ground level like that? Spider-Man, I think I figured out how six men are keeping his rackets running. Construction sites. Wasn't that shut down when he was arrested? No, it's one of his legitimate businesses. Multiple investors. We can't act without cause. But now you've got that, right? That's why I'm hoping you can keep an eye on the locations. Tell me if you see anything suspicious. You got it. I'll be your nosy neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> right. So, I'd kind of like to go around and do some side stuff now. Let's see, we do have some stuff on the overworld here. More tokens, I suppose. Especially if that's going to be, like, how we unlock new suit things. Unsubscribe from Just the Facts with JJ. Rush heads, they call themselves, though I uh, never quite understood why. Well, remember my warning about the downright Orwellian crime monitoring system the city was installing. It's not operating. Why? 
because someone came to their senses and realized they'd be violating civil liberties? Wrong! Because those incompetent bureaucrats built a network that crashes more often than a wino driving a bumper car. So your tax dollars got wasted, and there's nothing to show for it. Which is about as close as you get to a happy ending in the real world, kid. Ugh. Okay. Kind of getting the hang of, like, the flow of it. It's hard to keep it going sometimes. Okay. Oh, it's up here? What? This is personal stack. Kinda guess these guys aren't trading baseball cards. Hello, everybody! Oh, come on, fellas. You can't keep ducking income tax like this. Not how I thought that was gonna go. Okay, I can't knock him into the air, like, straight away. Dude. Chill for a second. <laughs> trying to remember all the ways I can take these guys down. Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. Oh, we get crime tokens, too. Probably better if I'm not here when the cops arrive. Why not? I thought I was cool with the cops. Oh, okay. How did they get a heads up about a drug deal in progress on top of a rooftop? Like, who called that in and was like, eh, there's some shit going on over here? I don't know. So is this another tower over here? What's going on here? Whoa. Ah! What are you trying to tell me? I don't understand the thing that's going on here. Another crime in progress? An assault. I better step in. Try hitting me. Spoiler, I hit back. Gotta get much better at the dodging, guys. Fuck me. Gotta get way better at the dodging. that for a while you're gonna kill me you're good now dude oh I can't wave at everybody that's too bad <laughs> right so it seems like every time there's like a petty crime in progress they give you some kind of like sub objective like usually a couple of them and I guess it's in your best interest to try and do that because you know get more tokens that way, which I guess go to our suits. Ten thirty, robbery in progress. Okay. Location is south of Houston. So now, now I don't know where to go for what they just called in because it's not on my mini map, and it's not showing up when I ping it. And I have no idea how this scanning thing works. It doesn't appear to do anything for me. There's something right here. Is it down lower? Is it underneath where I am right now? Ah, there it is. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. What, they won't let you open a bank account that just says <laughs> owner Spider-Man? That is too bad. Four out of 55 backpacks found, guys. That is a lot of backpacks. 
I will tell you. Alright, so I don't always know what's going on with these crimes in progress, but... You know, as I see them, I will do them. Otherwise... Let's go do some collecting, because I am really intrigued by this idea of... Unlocking all these new suits and whatnot. Seems that they come with powers, and then we can kind of mix and match, and... Build out different versions of Spidey, which sounds really freaking cool to me. Some of these backpacks are real pain in the ass to find. Really? I can't climb up there. <laughs> there we go. All I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away, and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. What does that say? Thank you. St thank you, Spidey. Yeah. That's the worst picture I've ever seen. Look at my arms. My arms aren't that big. That kid looks like the Scarecrow. Why are your arms all black? What'd you do to your arms? What a shitty drawing. Oh! Ooh! Crime in progress! It was over this way. I saw it for a second. What's going on over here? Trying to throw things, because that's my objective. <laughs> There's not enough things to throw, though. Here's some more. That uh, didn't even count. Ooh, that was dirty. I need one more thing. Okay, so that's what I get for screwing around and trying to do my battle objectives. <laughs> but this is good, because now I can see, like, do I get to just immediately retry that, or do I just lose and lose that forever? Looks like it's just gone forever if you lose. So these random crimes that are popping up, they're not, like, solid things that you have to, like, check off of a list. They just kind of pop up, and you either do them or you don't. Good to know. <laughs> 